is Dalton and Chad from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. Today we're going to be checking out a beautiful 1967 Pontiac Le Mans. Now this ain't your typical grandma's Le Mans. It's got a built 455 turned into a 462 roller motor, about 500 horsepower, upgraded suspension, four uh, speed manual transmission. Just a damn cool car. It's a really cool car. The guy that built this car and the motor and everything ran this car once in a fun day at the quarter mile and ran in the 11th with this car. So, I mean, it's set up, it's got awesome rear suspension, newer front suspension. Um, like you said, it's not your grandma's uh, Le Mans anymore. Not only does this thing have a ton of horsepower, it has a laser straight body, beautiful dark red paint, nice chrome, uh, just all in all a great car. Just like all the cars when we get them in here at Coyote Classics, we go ahead and go through them from front to back. Put new uh, battery ends on them, brand new Napa Legend batteries in them, uh, power steering, power brakes, aluminum radiator with a fan shroud keeping this big black monster cool. cool. Look at the paint quality as well. If you look at the, the satin black and just along the edge here, I mean, yeah, you got a little tiny little chip here, but the paint quality just around where no one ever sees, you know? They did a great job. The inner fenders are beautiful. You can tell the brake booster and everything's been redone doesn't have a ton of miles on this car. Uh, they, I like that they kept with stock manifolds, didn't put headers on this thing. Brand new dual exhaust, but kept with the manifolds. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to change plugs and everything else. Yeah. Damn, I'm excited to drive this, huh? That sounds good. Have you, I have not taken this thing down the road of you yet. I just drove it up and down the road. What'd you I, think? I had a lot of fun with it. it was Did pretty, you? Pretty fast car. Awesome. Um, so as we go back under the hood, it's a little quieter now. You can tell by just the paint and stuff on the motor. It's It's been done not too long ago. New belts, hoses, everything's just uh, up to snuff on it from what I can see. Again, when they took painted this car, the fenders were off. You can tell they painted it in a booth and just did a beautiful job. Great car. Uh, the GTO hood was added, and what I want to point out is, so many times somebody buys a nice Le Mans, adds a GTO hood, you know, and then paints the hood. You can tell this this was uh, thought. This wasn't an afterthought. This was done during the restoration or before the restoration. This car has had the GTO hood on it. Paint matches beautifully. Again, you can see a reflection everywhere in the paint. Um, the bumper is is original. So the front bumper, if a guy wants to make this excellent, probably want to put a new $300 bumper on there. Uh, it's got a couple little Mars on the original bumper. The front grille is in excellent condition. Uh, the chrome around the grille is nice as well. Headlight rings are nice. And the metallic in this strawberry red metallic paint is gorgeous. That's a beautiful car, and like I said, the, the fit and finish um, with the paint and body was, was really nice. How about the way this car s sits? I mean, it just jumps up and it's ready to go, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a nice rake to it. One of the, one of the things I really noticed is a little, little scratch there, and that might buff out too. Bottom of the fender's rust-free door, lower rocker. I mean, there just isn't a bubble or blister anywhere in this thing. It's got the really nice US mag chrome rims, slotted drilled rotors, disc brakes up front, fit and finish, the back of the hood matches up really nicely to the top of the cowl and fender. It does have the, <clears throat> excuse me, it has the original chrome, so you can see it's got some little micro scratches and stuff in the original trim right on the windows. Far the roof goes, roof's perfect. There's not a ding or anything in the roof. The sail area is excellent as well. Back package tray's nice, back window's nice, chrome around the back window looks good. And again, body is nice and straight, paint's got a beautiful shine. Back bumper has been re-chromed or replaced, the back bumper is perfect. Uh, back tail lights are nice, back chrome is all original around the tail lights. Truck lid lines up excellent all the way there from front to back. This is a really, really nice car. Bottom of the door fits nice there. 
there is a little blam right here. I didn't see it before, but if you get right in the right light, it's just a little bit of a, might even be just a little tiny bit of paint run that they did. And then, I'm um, open up the doors. The door jam paint is just as nice as the exterior paint. Carpet's been replaced. Seat covers look like they've been all redone. Headliner's nice, nice and tight. A dash pad is excellent. The dash itself is nice. Corner of the door is perfect. Bottom of the fender, all the, they did a nice job. Like you can see the fenders were off, the doors were off, all new rubbers and seals. Uh, rough rail rubbers, new door panels, armrest bases, pad was new. The only thing is pretty much stock is just your window crank and door locks. It's still original. You have a couple little tiny scratches here on the uh, on the paint there. You got a brand new Pontiac AM FM radio, aftermarket chrome gauges. They're all work, they look good. Wood grain on the dash is nice. It's got a nice uh, original Pontiac steering wheel. Was an automatic car, looks like, um, at one point, but they went ahead and changed all the pedals. It's got all the correct pedals and stuff in there. Rear view mirror is new. Um, the sun visor does, the original sun visor has some stitching coming loose so you can replace that or, or leave it. It's got seat belts in the front, the correct retractables. It's got the uh, seat belts for two in the back. Back shelf, back seats nice. These are just aftermarket speakers. They can definitely come and go if you don't want them in there. You can move them around. And I do like the way it sits, you know, it sits up. It's got some nice tires on the back. What are they, 255s, 275? Let's see. 255? Yeah, 255, 60, 17. So we've got some nice meats there. Back of the quarter is great. Again, you can really see the paint quality and, and uh, beautiful metallic. Down low, rocker panel. Bottom of the door fits perfectly here. Um, door handles were replaced during restoration. New seals were put in there as well. And the door is just shut really nice and easy. Home lights working. Well, it does have the GTO factory uh, tacking gauges as well, which is nice. It's got oil pressure at an idle, and it's idling about oh, 600 RPM. We could definitely turn it up if we want to, but again, we like to hear that nice cam low. I'm going to raise that up to 1,000 RPM. You're running 85 pounds, 84 pounds of oil pressure. That's awesome. Actually, about 90. Temperature gauge here is running about 150 right now. Volt gauge works as well. Um, the radio does work as well. It's a brand new radio here. I don't think the heater fan works. It's pretty typical. It seems like the damn heater fans never want to work, do they? Wipers are working. Gas gauge works, factory tack work. This thing sounds great, Dalton. I just can't wait to take this bad boy for a ride. I know. What's your favorite part of the job, B? Probably this, you know, driving them and getting them on the road. You know, and every, every car is so different, and then the, the people we get to talk to too is awesome. Yeah. I like, uh, like you said, I love driving these things, but then, then hearing the customer tell us exactly what they want, they want something fast yep. and fun, and then seeing it, uh, I love the car put a smile on their face. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite parts too is calling the customer right after, you know, after they get their car yeah. and then hearing their excitement. Pretty cool. Well, this car is very well put together. Um, as we mentioned before, big block, tons of horsepower. 
with a lot of cars, you know, people put a lot of horsepower under the hood, but they don't uh, beef up the suspension and stuff. And this one's got it all. Yeah. It's got the power disc brakes, it's got the power steering, it's got the Hoskins suspension. Yeah, awesome suspension on it. Um, super tight steering too. That's one of the thing I want to point out. The steering box is really nice and tight on it. Brakes are awesome. Uh, very important if you've got a car that goes fast you want it to stop fast as well so very important a lot of people don't uh, think of that either as far as our idle um, likes to idle down around uh, anywhere from six to eight hundred rpm temperature right now is running about 185 we've got it running for a while oil pressure is 30 at one you know bumps right up to over 85 90 and rev it up See how she performs, huh? The thing I like about it, it's got a lot of horsepower, but it idles nice too. Yeah. This thing just hooks up. on a dime. Another thing I want to talk about is just how we go through the gears and everything's just so nice and tight. Clicks right in. So we drive it normal. Downshifting right to third. Second. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link to the website in the description. Uh, price, pictures, details can be found there. Thank you for watching.